Well, welcome to the last session today for IAAI. The session is about explanation. We have three talks, all of which are seem to be affiliated with Arizona State, either <laughs> <laughs> in the present or in the past. Inexplicable. So I don't know quite how that happened. I didn't do the schedule allocation. <laughs> I guess we should say they have to explain themselves. <laughs> um, so our first talk is about a technical task about Ubuntu, and the speaker is Tathagata Chakraborty. Okay. Um, welcome to the talk. Uh, I'm Tathagata from Arizona State. I said, uh, I will be talking about Ubuntu World. It's a platform for automated problem solving and troubleshooting in the Ubuntu operating system. Um, uh, bulk of this work was done while I was an intern at IBM last summer. So uh, this, this is joint work with Dr. Chitin and Murray from IBM and also my advisor Rob from AC. Uh, would you mind putting up the microphone on or maybe yeah. get yeah. Sorry, yeah. Just put it on your lapel. Yeah. 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 Just unclip it. Yeah. Thank you. So, So, um, is it too loud? That's fine. That's great. That's okay, so um, I will start with a brief introduction of uh, end-to-end -end conversation systems. Uh, for those of you in the invite talk earlier today, you don't need introductions to that. But uh, basically what we're interested in here is uh, goal-directed conversational agents. So, and that's kind of different from the usual chatbots that you expect. Uh, so these are agents that are trying to solve a specific goal in, in interaction with the human. And so, for example, you can um, you can consider customer support as a specific example of that. And um, one, one, one of the few uh, more core properties of these kinds of systems is that uh, these have, have to be general purpose, so they can adapt to different kinds of tasks. And also, uh, they need to be adapted, which means they are personalized to your own local system. So in, in terms of customer support, as you are changing the settings in your local environment, the kind of support you need is tailored towards your own settings. And also as new uh, versions of the software come out, the, 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 the embedded agent should be able to learn that and, and add up to the local settings. And also there is a huge uh, opportunity for augmenting human intelligence into these kind of systems. And by that I mean uh, two ways of augmentation. One, one, you can use data from already existing uh, support. So these might be online forums where people are trying to solve the same problems. And also these need to be, uh, this can be interactive as well, so you are trying to solve the problem with the human interface. And so we identify three, uh, three important uh, tasks that this kind of agent needs to do. Uh, it needs to learn the model of the environment automatically uh, in order to be general purpose and adaptive. And then it has to evaluate the, the, the kind of state it's in, whether that's, in, that's enough to, uh, to solve the current problem. And then it, it has to interact in a natural way with the human in order to solve the problem. In this talk, I will specifically uh, focus on, on the learning part and uh, use the customer support or technical support in the book as a use case for our discussion. So, uh, a few words about why Ubuntu itself. Uh, well, Ubuntu is, a, is one of the most uh, used operating systems. And, and, the, and there is real need for support in Ubuntu, as you can tell from the thriving online community in Ask Ubuntu. It's, it's the third among the Stack Overflow uh, forums. With almost with over 400,000 users and 200,000 questions asked, and um, but the, the key point is that it's almost lost in terms of the number of questions actually answered, uh, with only 65 percent of questions answered. Um, if you take a closer look, uh, the core problem is what they call zombie posts. So these are posts that have not been answered in the 72 hours, so three days of not being answered, and the number of zombie posts is given by the, the blue line, which is almost 45,000 uh, by, by last week, and it's growing exponentially in time. So clearly, Ask Ubuntu is failing to um, come up to the needs of this type of platform. And here's an example of this, when the spikes happen. So the spikes are usually when the new Ubuntu comes out. So the, the one on the right is when Ubuntu 16 came out, and this is when Ubuntu 14 came out, and that's when the, the, the need really 
the spikes and the ask moon doesn't really have the kind of platform to support this kind of uh, traffic. So uh, the reason we propose an embedded learning system is because if you look at the kind of problems that are there in the forum, it's because the number of new people are very few with, with respect to the number of real experts in the forum. So then you have a lot of very simple questions that nobody really wants to answer. And then you have a lot of duplicate posts because nobody is really curating these kind of uh, questions. And then a lot of the times the users don't know what exact information to provide in the question because if they knew they would have solved the problem. So there is a lot of incomplete information that an embedded system can actually learn to use. And then there is this problem with continuous rollouts and broken dependencies in your local system that, that others elsewhere are not ready to do. So, um, so that's why we come to this uh, with a learning agent that can build a model of Ubuntu on your local machine and use that model to solve these kind of problems. So the, the way the system works is that, so that there is a central agent here that interacts with the human, and the human can ask two kinds of, two kinds of tasks with this uh, agent. So they can either ask the agent to do something, so do a specific task, or they can, given an error, they can ask a suggestion from the agent saying, what should I do at this stage? So that's the interaction with the agent. Uh, the agent itself has different kinds of actual AI agents in the background. So uh, there is a planning agent, which is the, the ground to the agent. So if you have a model of a specific set of tasks, you can write that model by hand, and then the planning agent will come up with the right solution given the current state. There is a random agent that is kind of the baseline, so it, it, it will tell you how difficult these tasks are. If you had to execute randomly, how, how long does it take to get to the goal? And there is, of course, the RL agent which you are going to focus on in this talk, um, which explores the Ubuntu environment and comes with the model by itself. And we will look at two different uh, types of these agents, one based on data from our school itself and one the, the event RL. And the way these agents uh, interact and learn is through the terminal. So they will use the terminal that the users use themselves and, uh, and just uh, provide uh, commands for the terminal to execute and then sense what has happened once those are executed. So these agents will, will, will hop onto the, the Ubuntu terminal and start executing stuff and figure out what's going on. And based on the feedback on the terminal, they will learn what's going on. Um, so in, in terms of the, the architecture, um, so at the top we have the agent class. And there are this whole list of uh, different types of agents that are plugged into the system, and you can plug in anything you want there because the the, the interaction with the environment class is through very high-level actions like act, observe, and feedback, and that's all the, the the agent is using at the high level. The different type of the agent, so how the agent uses the this observation and picks the next action determines what kind of agent it is, and so that's why the agents are abstracted to this higher level class. At the bottom, you have the 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 lower level action class that implements the actual uh, way these different actions are implemented on the terminal. So these are uh, these are somewhat abstracted implementations of the different types of commands that they do. And uh, the environment kind of, kind of interacts with this uh, and tries to uh, tries to see what so it tries to execute and just sees the output and passes back to the uh, to the agent. Um, so the the environment class forms kind of the the middleware for this kind of um, platform. So you can, in, in, at the bottom, you can change the environment by changing the the, the ask Ubuntu package and the Ubuntu config package. And at the top, you can change the agents by changing the agents of class. And the agent mediates this different kind of environments. Uh, one interesting point is that the agent also have, the environment also has a simulator here, which emulates the uh, the, the the terminals when when you are trying to fix parameters and kind of fine-tuning your learning agents before you let them run on the real terminal. So the, the emulator for the terminal will, will, be a, will be a terminal that can do much fewer tasks, but will actually tell you what will happen when you do those actions. And then you can run the real terminal when you're satisfied with your learning agent. So here's a, it's an example task that we, are, uh, we may be interested in. So if you ask the agent to open a text file, the, the simplest thing to do is to open that with the with the, with the, with the normal text editor, for example, GA. But but imagine if, if GA is not installed, then then it has to get um, pseudo permission, install GA, and then open it. So depending on what the current state of the system is, 
the, the task, uh, the, the sequence of actions you need to do to perform that simple task in a graph. And so, so they have this uh, different kinds of similar tasks like opening software, setting internet connectivity, installing software, uh, getting admin rights, etc., for the that the agent has access to, and it will try to learn these kinds of sequences by exploring other time. So coming to the agents, uh, so we had, as I said, we had the random agent as a strong random baseline for comparison. So all these agents use this kind of uh, the state representation. These are Boolean variables uh, about things that you can sense in the world. So maybe is the internet on? So you just ping Google and see if the internet is on. Uh, it, do we have pseudo access? Are these softwares installed? Are is a file open in this um, software, etc. So these are things that you can sense from the terminal, and you can sense their true fault values as an agent. And all of these agents will use this kind of state uh, information going forward. The planning agent also has a handwritten uh, domain model, which will serve as a ground truth. And so, so this is an example of. Uh, Installing command, so it will it, it needs the sudo on and internet on as precondition, and the, the effect will be installed that software. And finally, the learning agent itself um, is a standard queue learning agent. I won't go into the the details of this. It's a standard queue learning SL random agent. The important part is the is the reward function, uh, which basically the reward function. Uh, incentivizes that you do as least number of actions as possible, but also gives a high goal at the end, right? Reward at the goal. So here's the performance in terms of training. The blue line is the mean average of the the episode length. So as, as you can see, around uh, 5,000 episodes with replays. The the learning agent kind of converges. Um, in in terms of testing, uh, the, the, the 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 random agent is maxing out at 30. Uh, actions and the, the red line is for the optimal and the, the black line is for the optimal agent. So the learning agent is kind of uh, very close to the optimal here. So we will now uh, talk a little bit about data driven RL. So as we, as we said, there is already a lot of uh, data on our spoon that you can just use for already existing um, problems. So in this case, uh, when you are executing on the terminal, if you see that there is a there is a function denied uh, feedback on the terminal, you can use that. You can uh, you can actually query ask Ubuntu, see what the most relevant posts are, find the find the action that you know is most relevant to the answer to that post, and use that to um, to have a suggestion on what what the next exploration function should be. So here, ask Ubuntu itself is not an oracle, but rather a guidance to the learning process. So every time you're trying to explore, you're actually using that to figure out okay, ask Ubuntu is telling me that I should use in this case sudo as the next action. So in terms of the modified RL agent, you have a third component in the in the learning phase. And so this is an extra exploration uh, component where the agent is seeing what is the footprint of the action in terms of the output of the terminal, uh, checking that with the documentation of the action, which are the map pages, and ranking the relevant actions based on what our student is uh, coming up with, and using that as the uh, action to explore. Um, and, and the rest of it remains the same. And so there is a so instead of an epsilon random uh, agent, we have now an epsilon plus beta random agent, where uh, where beta and epsilon tells you how much to explore at a given point of time. Also, beta is uh, also notice that Ascom data itself is noisy, so we don't want to use this as, as, as an oracle. So we uh, vary beta as a as a as a damped sign function, which means that you are alternating between random exploration and uh, random exploration. And uh, it's an random exploration. So um, here's an example of how the data driven RL agent works. Uh, as you can see, uh, by around 700 uh, iterations, so five times as early as the previous one, the, the data driven RL, which is red line, is converting to the uh, correct values. So there is a clear uh, evidence of uh, using online data information in this kind of. So now we'll show you an example of. Uh, Interacting with this agent, uh, we will uh, open. Uh, we will for, ask for a, uh, for a for a suggestion. So I'm trying to open a file with Firefox, and and so I'm asking what a, I don't think this is clear at all. Is it? Yeah, I can see. So yeah, basically, it's asking for what the suggestions are, 
and the, the, the agent is looking into its view table and giving you uh, what the top suggestion is. So here, uh, open with, so Firefox file is the, is the command, the, the terminal command that needs to be used. Uh, so here, instead of asking the, the agent for an, for an option, I'm actually asking it to do the task. And so it go, goes ahead, looks for the max value in the queue table, and executes that. Um, now I'm going to make the task a little bit harder and, uh, and remove fire, Firefox from the system. So, so we'll go forward a bit. Yeah, so now I'm removing the, the, the Firefox software and yeah, and so then I will check if it's there or not. If it's not there, and then I will ask the system to again open the same file with Firefox. So here there, there is a, a, some sort of delay because it's, it's, it's fetching the thing from the internet and installing. Um, so, yeah, so there it is. Um, Yes, if you look a bit closer, it first uh, used the sudo action to get sudo access to the terminal. Then it did add get install Firefox, to install Firefox, and finally it used the same Firefox file as the um, Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'll open the floor for questions. It's based on the Ask Ubuntu data. So there is a forum, right? And there's text already existing. The problem with what you're suggesting is it's not in the format of the case spaces, right? But we can use the text uh, to train the data-driven RL agent. So that's... So one of the advantages that we had was the agent had a finite number of actions that it could do. So you are not extracting the action from the post itself, but you are matching the text with your man pages and seeing what the most relevant thing is. So that, that extraction problem is not there. You are just finding what the most relevant is. And that kind of helps out. 